Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch. Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're- Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. A what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you... you stay back. Oh, You are in so much... I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <laughs> Kara? <laughs> yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah. No shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra. An organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and... Ulta killed him, and they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on, that one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> honey? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So, once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. <laughs> Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand, don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bi- Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I, I haven't. I think my soul meets the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally just say it, my gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm, pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. 
Ow! <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate and he can break my curse. What? How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us. We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant, and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her, you are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your Highness! Hi! Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is! Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your Highness... You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. So you need help breaking your curse. What? Alina, listen to me. You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... that hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to... Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. Maybe we're not soulmates. No, your highness, wait. My curse, it's... You can't tell anyone about your curse. It's what? I can't tell you unless you tell me to say it. I'm such an idiot. Your curse, it's to do everything you're told, isn't it? Yes. Wait, but then why did you slap me? You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. You have to tell me to kiss you. Oh, okay. Well then, um... Oh. Stepmother, you just knocked out the prince. Yes, I did. And with any luck, you'll wake up with amnesia and forget all about you. You can't do that. Yes, I can. And you both are getting locked down here. Go to sleep. No. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, Alina? Alina, wake up. Hey. Alina. Kiss me. Tell me to do something. Uh, jump up and down. Hey. It worked. I'm free. Yes, we're soulmates. Your Highness, we received your distress signal. Let go of us, you fools! Alina, attack the guards! Yeah, that's not gonna work anymore. <gasps> no, you kissed the prince? Yeah, I did, and it was really nice. Also, I'll <gasps> be taking this back. You know I loved you, right, Alina? Goodbye, stepmother. Wait, no! Sorry, ladies, Alina is making her own choices now. Skip school or stay home? My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey, Mom, can you give me a ride to school? Sure, honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Mom. Thank you. Hey, Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Jake? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all nights. Hey, girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? 
It went up when you bought the Squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you 100,000. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper? What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. I was so high, I Shut up. Break. You went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you. Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Giselle, keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled, and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Um, okay. So why did you want to see me? You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking per- Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay? Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year. You have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday. You can open it now. Grandpa... What is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss. Are you Giselle? Hi. Um, yes, my grandpa. Is he going to be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. 
Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you going to call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's going to pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm going to call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone.